To get a job in tech as a complete beginner, you need to build your skills in three foundational pillars, having the right credentials, foundational knowledge, and having the technical experience to back it up. In this video, we'll cover how to make yourself stand out as a job candidate, the best technical projects to work on to get onto your portfolio, getting a mentor, resume and interview prep, as well as a tech program where 87% of graduates land a job within six months or they get a 100% tuition refund. So buckle up because I'll be sharing a lot of information in this video. Firstly, the right credentials. Like certs, boot camps, or degrees are important when you're just starting out. They not only validate your expertise, but also make you stand out to potential employers. However, credentials alone aren't enough. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see beginners in tech making because they don't focus enough on getting the hands-on technical project experience that they need to prove themselves on their resume and their portfolios, especially if they have no previous experience in tech. As a beginner, I'd focus on finding which niche in tech you're most interested in. This could be software engineering, data analytics, cybersecurity, etc. We'll also cover how to get these specific technical skills you should be learning later in this video. For example, if you're interested in software engineering, you'll be focusing more so on what coding languages to learn compared to someone interested in cybersecurity who will be focusing on learning cyber foundations and networking concepts. After you find your niche, taking relevant courses, attending conferences, and participating in online workshops can help you stay updated with the latest technologies and trends in tech. When it comes to resources for learning, I'd recommend checking out Triple Ten Tech Bootcamps. Triple Ten offers flexible, beginner-friendly bootcamps designed to prepare you with everything you need to start a tech career. They have fully online part-time programs for cybersecurity, software engineering, QA, business intelligence, and data science. With the highest graduation and employment rates, where 87% of their graduates land a job within six months or less, they also offer a get a job or get a refund guarantee. This means if you don't get a job after completing the bootcamp after six months, you get a 100% tuition refund. Plus, their unique approach to learning includes real-world projects with actual companies providing the work experience that sets you apart. And if that wasn't enough, they are the only bootcamp in the U.S. that offers unlimited externship opportunities even after you graduate. Improve your career using my code SANDRA for 30% off all of their programs and click the link in my description or scan the QR code for a free career consultation. Okay, so in terms of projects, where exactly should you start? To get hands-on technical experience for a career in tech, what's most important is that you start by working on real-world projects, even if they're personal or at a smaller scale. You should focus on building a strong technical portfolio with projects that demonstrate your skills in coding, data analytics, networking, or the specific skill sets you're trying to share with recruiters. Working on open source projects is another way to get involved in collaborative projects, gain experience working with version control like Git, and learn from others in tech. You can also participate in hackathons, capture the flags or CTFs, or coding challenges to take on practical real world problems while growing your technical skill set. In terms of what skills to focus on first, a good idea to get an idea of the most common skills you need is to first look up a specific job title like software engineer and see the top skills and prerequisites that companies are looking for in their candidates. This will give you an idea of the most popular coding languages, third-party tooling, or other highly sought after technical skills. Then you can find different technical projects or learning resources to learn those skills on your own or through a program like Triple Ten, which typically makes it a lot easier since you'll be following a laid out technical curriculum along with tutors who are real people working in tech and other students to keep you motivated. This also means you'll already be learning the relevant skills that employers are looking for. In the Triple Ten Tech Bootcamp, Camps, you'll gain in-depth knowledge and practical skills across a wide range of essential topics. As an example, in their cybersecurity bootcamp, you'll learn how to protect and monitor networks from various threats before diving into network analysis, where you'll learn how to assess network traffic, identify anomalies, and prevent unauthorized access. Their programs focus on getting hands-on skills and experience that you can include on your resume to help you stand out. All the skills that you learn are going to be important experiences that you can talk about in future technical interviews when you start applying to jobs. To ensure you can apply what you've learned, Triple Ten offers online training in short, manageable units. You'll have access to one-on-one, -on -one, on-demand tutoring so you can get personalized help whenever you need it. And at the end of your training, you'll work on a final project where you'll get to really implement the skills that you've learned in the program. 
When it comes to job hunting, avoid relying on easy apply or one-click apply options. These often flood recruiters with applications, making it harder for yours to actually stand out. Instead, you should focus on applying to jobs on less saturated sites like built-in or startup jobs where your application is more likely to get noticed. Another option is to apply to jobs directly on a company website since they usually have the most up-to-date job postings and you're typically applying with a much smaller candidate pool. Networking should also be one of your biggest priorities. This helps you connect with tech professionals who are already working in the field and also potentially hear about new job opportunities or referrals for roles that may not even be posted online yet. This can be way more effective than cold applying to jobs online. Personally, when I'm applying to jobs, I really focus on being a numbers game. This means not just applying to one to two jobs a day, but applying to a few hundred a week and tweaking your resume to include more technical keywords to increase your chances of hearing back, especially during this competitive job market. And speaking of effective job hunting strategies, Triple Ten offers one-on-one -on -one career assistance, which includes the job application process. Not to mention this stat, 50% of their students land jobs before even graduating from the program, and 71% of their graduates secure remote roles, providing flexibility in where and how you work. This is one of the most impressive bootcamp hiring stats that I've seen, especially around getting a job before even completing a bootcamp. Their median graduate salary starts from 70K annually, and this along with the get a job or get a refund guarantee takes away a lot of the risk of starting an online bootcamp. Not to mention that these are only starting salaries. The average salary in the US for a software engineer is 147K a year. There's a huge amount of growth potential when it comes to tech jobs. And based on this stat from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are about 153,900 openings for software engineers each year for the next decade. This doesn't even include other roles in tech that also have huge job demand like cybersecurity and data science or AI related jobs. There's also been an industry-wide push away from requiring candidates to have a four-year degree to qualify for jobs. Specifically, the biggest push has been this White House initiative to remove four-year degree requirements for IT and cybersecurity jobs in favor of skill-based hiring to help fill 500,000 open cybersecurity jobs. This is one of the biggest reasons to consider an online bootcamp program over a typical college degree as hiring practices change in the next few years. Triple Ten also offers personalized support every step of the way, including one-on-one -on -one tutoring, personal success managers, and dedicated career coaching for all of their students. Their graduates receive lifelong career assistance from their team of career advisors, and you'll also get to join a community of over 1,000 successful alumni, and there is a lot more useful material on the Triple Ten website going into further detail on job applications, including the best ways to network and even applying to jobs as an extrovert versus an introvert. I'll have the article linked below for anyone who wants more advice on how to go about networking as part of your job search. Okay, now that we've covered job applications and the strategies for how to apply to them, you'll want to focus a lot of your time prepping for interviews. When preparing for interviews with tech companies of any size, you'll encounter three main types of questions, behavioral, technical, and system design. Behavioral questions assess how you've handled situations in the past and how you might respond to future challenges. To prepare, reflect on your previous experiences and practice structuring your answers using the STAR method, situation, task, action, result. Technical questions evaluate your knowledge and problem solving skills in specific areas like coding or using specific technical tools based on the area of tech you're applying for. Reviewing key concepts in your tech niche and practicing problem solving exercises are essential. I personally recommend practicing with at least 50 to 100 practice interview questions before going into an interview so you feel ready to answer the questions they throw at you. System design questions test your ability to architect technical systems, requiring you to think critically about designing solutions that are resilient and secure. These are usually very broad and open-ended, so you have a chance to share in-depth technical solutions to a problem or a question provided by your interviewer. So how do you know what employers want to see during your interviews? Triple Ten shares the secrets for breaking into tech in this report that covers what employers are looking for when hiring. This is essentially a get hired guide where Triple Ten surveyed 1,000 plus decision makers across the US from various different industries to share how you can be the best candidates for jobs you apply for, even in a competitive job market. 
They even do mock interviews with you so you get real experience answering these questions with a coach and really getting specific feedback on what you can do better, not just the general tips. The best way to get rid of any anxiety or stress around interviewing is to be as prepared as you can. And remember, Triple Ten wants their students to succeed because if their graduates don't get a job after six months, they give all the money back for the program. And that is why their job placement rate is so high. Last but not least, having a mentor is one of the best ways to get extra help getting your foot in the door into tech. A mentor provides invaluable guidance, helps you navigate your early career, and offers insights that you might not have found on your own. When I first started my career in tech, finding a mentor was a game changer. My mentor helped me understand how to make myself stand out as a job candidate, what hiring managers were looking for, and how to market myself when attending in-person events, conferences, and career fairs. You can think of this as having a roadmap to success with someone guiding you along the way. Triple Ten understands the value of mentorship, which is why they offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring from industry professionals. This personalized approach ensures you're learning from the best. On top of that, their one-on-one -on -one career coaching provides critical support with interview skills, resume, and portfolio design. They also leverage AI automation to power your job search, making it easier to find the right opportunities, which means with Triple Ten, you're not just learning, you're also being mentored every step of the way. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful in helping you start your tech career and giving you some guidance on what to focus on as you're just starting out. Don't forget to check out Triple Ten Tech Bootcamps. You can improve your career using my code Sandra for 30% off all of your programs and click the link in my description or scan the QR code for a free career consultation. And since they have a get a job or get a refund guarantee with 87% of their bootcamp graduates getting a job within six months of graduating, it's a great way to start your career in tech. You can stay connected by joining our Discord channel. Feel free to connect on LinkedIn where I share more tech resources and advice in real time. If this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.